So let's talk about estrone as a hormone in a very important context here. Estrone comes from your body fat. When you transition from pre and perimenopause into postmenopause, that is where estrogen comes from now. Aromatase, which is largely found in your adipose or fat cells, adip- uh, aromatase converts androstenedione into estrone. And the more body fat you have, the more aromatase you have, the more conversion androstenedione to estrone you have. The more estrone you generate and the more estrone you create in your body, estrone is going to be a little bit more pro-inflammatory. It's going to increase something called interleukin-6. It's also going to increase insulin resistance. It's going to impact your insulin sensitivity. It's going to promote more lipogenesis or more generating of body fat. So body fat makes estrone. Estrone promotes the inflammatory pathways to generate more fat, thereby making more estrone, making more fat. It is a a wicked loop that we get caught in. And the important thing I want you to take away from that information is that that immediately, it's very easy to say that estrone is a bad thing now. Estrone is horrible. But if you look at it from our ancestors' perspective, it was the thing that helped them survive. It's just in modern day times, we don't need that. Estrone promotes the production of fat when it's already elevated. And it doesn't do that in a vacuum. You have to have other factors at play in your lifestyle for estrone to be so uh, pro-lipogenesis. You already have to be eating a refined diet. You have to have more inflammation in your body. So this doesn't just happen in a vacuum. Like all of a sudden my body fat's gonna make estrone, it's gonna make more body fat. Just, you're not stuck in that loop, okay, by itself. There are things you do with your lifestyle that promote the loop even more so. And that's, that's the thing. I don't want you to feel trapped by what I'm saying here. I want you to feel empowered because that's the goal of this.